Hey guys, what's up? Ty Ty the Gamer Guy here, and welcome back to some more Mario is Sleeping with an Egg. In this episode, well, in the last episode, we got some more stuff at Peanut Park done, and we came back to Delfino Plaza with Shadow Mario stealing this Yoshi egg, and we put a stop to him at the, in the at the end of it. So what do we do with this Yoshi egg? Well, it's it'll dream about a random fruit in the game. In this case, bananas, and there's literally bananas right here. How convenient. Just gonna, just gonna shoplift. Perfectly legal. And bring the bring his desired fruit, and boom! Yoshi! So, yep, Yoshi is in this game. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Well, I guess I could explain that is that if you press the L button or the Z button if you're playing the GameCube version, you can see. A very simple map of Delfino Plaza. You can like look at it's the the residents of the of Delfino Isle of Isle Delfino, and then also the levels we've gone to. And over here we can you can keep track of the shine sprites. As you can see, there are some shine sprites in that we have not gotten yet in previous in, in previous levels. That's going to be the main focus of this episode, and for a while actually. So anyway, back to Yoshi. If you press Y, we'll stick his tongue out, and it's incredibly long. It's like this, is like one of the long. This is like the longest Yoshi's tongue tongue has ever been. He can also jump really freaking high. Look at that. And instead of squirting water, or well, instead of Mario squirting water, Yoshi literally vomits juice. Don't know. I don't know the, how the physiology of that's supposed to work, but it does. You can even do the Mega Squirt with it. And then over there in the bottom right corner, that's Yoshi's juice meter. It'll deplete over time. It, oh, it'll deplete over time, and once it does deplete, Yoshi will basically disintegrate. And speaking of disintegrating, if Yoshi just let alone even touches water. This happens. Rip Yoshi, he's dead. Nah, where he's okay. He'll just respawn to where you found him. At least for right now. So anyway, now that we unlocked Yoshi, we can actually go back into Rico Harbor and do that one mission that we could not do. Let's go ahead and do that. Mission 8, Yoshi's Fruit Adventure. This is exactly why we cannot do this mission before, because once you unlock Yoshi in, Del in um, Delfino Plaza, he'll be unlocked for the rest of the levels. See, so, yeah, things look pretty cheerful right here. Rico is the kind of place songs are written about. Uh, they knew exactly what they were doing. It's like they knew that Rico Harper's going to have a very popular music. All right. Anyway, what we have to do is right up there and right up. And act, ooh, hold on a minute. This would actually be a pretty good time to explain this. Uh, maybe. Actually, yeah, we can just go over there. Okay. Down there is a gray box. We saw one just like it that had the rocket nozzle in it. So what's in here? The Turbo Nozzle. This is the last of the nozzles that Flood can have. And as the name might imply, if I can get out of this boat, hold it down, and you can go super, super fast. Running and swimming around at the speed of sound. Something, 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 something. I don't know the song because I've never played Sonic and Sonic Adventure, but oh well. Or if, is that song even from Sonic Adventure? No, no. What am I thinking? It's from Sonic X. <laughs> I watched that whole show a while, a couple years ago. I should have, I should have known about that. I should have known that. All right. Anyway. And oh, hold on. This guy. Let's talk to him again. He said he was going to give us something, but apparently we weren't cool enough. So are we cool now? I love the sunshine, but oh, is it ever bright? 
Here, little man, try my yeah, try as a pair of my special sh sunshades. They're cool. Yeah, you're styling now. Come back and talk to me when you don't need them anymore. So, yep. After you collect a certain amount of shine spreads, I don't know the exact amount. You can put on, you can have Mario put on sunscreen, um, not sunscreen, sunshades, uh, sunshades, not sunshades, and the screen will be slightly darker. Let's keep it like this for right now. I don't use this very often. And you can also get some pretty good height with the turbo nozzle as well. But we can only go so far. Uh, oh, the rocket nozzle is right up there. Let's go and get that. Yep. Oh, that was cool. But I missed my jump. And I can't jump high enough without the turbo nozzle. Jump. Nice. All right. And... By the way... <sighs> Screw you, platform. Yep. Screw you, pole. Or column, whatever you are. Hit. Screw you, my piss-ass aim. There we go. I swear, I was going to have to say screw you to something else. All right, anyway. The Yoshi egg is right over here, and he wants a durian. Now, durians are an interesting fruit in this game. Because they are the only fruit that you cannot just... You can't just pick them up. You have you can only kick them. Don't know why. I mean, I know they're spiky and everything, but they can't be that sharp. So anyway, there are no places to get fruit other than this. And, and wow. First try is a durian. It'll spawn like a random fruit or something, or like one of each fruit fruit, and then it'll like recycle. Anyway, so yeah, we can only kick them. We just have to. Kick it over to the Yoshi egg. Don't know why we can't just pick it up because I mean, it can't be that spiky, or it can't hurt. It can't hurt that much to hold. I know it has a very hard shell, but like, come on. I mean, look, that doesn't stop Yoshi, Yoshi from eating it. But you might see is that Yoshi is now purple. Depending on the fruit he eats, he will change color. If he eats, a, if he eats a banana or a coconut, he turns pink. If he eats a durian or a chili pepper, he turns purple. And if he eats a, uh, what are those things called? I don't know what they're called. They're not pears because they're not green. I don't know. I don't know what they're called, but they're they're yellow. And if he eats those things or pineapples, he turns orange. So I like purple Yoshi. Anyway, here's another mechanic. Another new mechanic with Yoshi specifically is that if somehow his juice can turn enemies into platform. It, uh. What just happened? Screw you, fish! <sighs> now I have to go back and find another durian because that's the only fruit that Yoshi's gonna want. And this, in this level in particular, lately. Usually Yoshi will want a random fruit except durians, but in certain missions like this, he will only want durians. So Riku Harborian Yoshis are very picky eaters. They apparently like swallowing durians whole. Like what kind like does Yoshi even have teeth? I mean, he makes a crunching sound when he when he does his pummel on uh, Super Smash Brothers melee, so I don't know, unless Yoshi just has that powerful of gums. Alright, anyway, got another durian. Don't know what the hell happened back there with that one platform just disappeared. Or disintegrated. So yes, as I was trying to say, spraying an enemy with Yoshi's juice would turn it into a platform. It, oh boy. And then after a while, the platform will start moving. And the direction it will go to will, de will be dependent on Yoshi's color. In this instance, he will make the platforms go forward. Because we need Yoshi, we need him to do some platforming up here. And that should be far enough. Let's go. And I don't need no freaking fish, I can just do a spin jump. I swear, this is... Well, this is almost as broken as Luigi's spin jump in Mario 64 DS. And that platform isn't going to help me. 
I didn't even need the platform. You fish are useless. And there's a fly in my room that keeps bugging me. And uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hop on the platform and boom. There's an M graffiti right there, but we're gonna worry about that later. And get that fish. And spin No! I'm sorry, headphone users. I don't mean to do it on purpose. I promise. I gotta go back to the freaking fruit generator, get a freaking durian so I can feed the freaking Yoshi again, do some more freaking platforming. And then I'm gonna spray this fruit off the ground because it's gonna make the durian bounce off and go in the water and I have to start from scratch again. Alright. I guess as I'm making my way back up there, something else I can mention is that once you get Yoshi, the music will get added some added uh, bongo drums in the background, so I guess that's cool. Alright. All right, platform, you don't like me, and I don't like you. All right, there we go. And then we have whatever the hell this thing is supposed to be. It's like a type of graffiti, I guess, but it's basically indestructible. Every To everything except one thing, and that is Yoshi's stomach acid. It disintegrates, we can now open up well, when it can't open up, we can now go inside this cage and get the Shine Sprite. And we have now completed all eight main missions of Rico Harbor. We still have a few more things to do here, but otherwise we're done for now. We'll get to we'll get to what the other other things are in a bit. And oh, well, Shadow Mario is back, and he has the Turbo Nozzle. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. So just do the same thing we've been doing, just chase him down in that. Now after you go into a level then come back, Yoshi will now will forever respawn on top of this building. Where he will want well yeah, where he will want a random fruit besides besides a durian, because even Nintendo isn't evil enough to make us kick a durian all the way on top of a roof. And, oh well, wow, thanks for breaking my fall. So yeah, Shadow Mario is definitely putting putting up a I was gonna say I was gonna say he was gonna he was putting up a bigger fight, but he just died. Rats! And I was just about the turbo dash too. Well, he's dead. So now we are done with Rico Harbor for right now. So let's go ahead and go back to Gelato Beach because there are a couple other things we have we still have to do there. So let's. Uh, I'm out. Let's split. Uh, ow! And there's a Pianta with his. Mushroom backpack on fire, but we're gonna worry about him later. He'll be fine. He'll just be um, like that dog in that meme. He's fine. He totally is. All right. It's Shadow Mario. After him. All right. So Shadow Mario boss fight after Shadow Mario boss fight. Yeah, well, he's definitely putting up a bigger fight this time. But still the the same old stuff. Just keep chasing him and spraying him. And he's wow. Okay. Well, that's that. <laughs> Thank you.
And just like that, we have yet another Shadow Mario boss fight. He's up here, I believe. Yep, there he is. He went back up there. Of course he did. Camera, you're not working with me right here. I can't wall jump. What do you mean? Okay, there we go. Alright, where is he? There he is. How did I miss him that many times? Can you stop wall jumping? Come on. Come on. He's almost. He has to be almost dead. Um. Ow. So, I mean, he just went right into the water. I mean, you'd think he would, like, die in the water since, you know, that's basically his only weakness. And there we go. Shoot! Now it's just about the rocket jump, too! Alright, and now we have the rocket nozzle available to us in Delfino Plaza. So sweet. We can now jump all the way up there. Anyway, uh, hmm. How do I want to go about this? We're coming up we're coming up pretty high up there in the timer, so I'm starting to think I think it would be best if I saved the final mission in a gelato beach for another time. Uh you know what? No, it's one more mission. We can do it. Mission 8, the Watermelon Festival. Am I the only one that doesn't like watermelons? I mean, like, I, I like watermelon flavored stuff, but the fruit? Nah, I, I, I just can't do it. It's, too, it's way too watery for me. It's like, I just don't like it. I don't like it. So anyway... It takes place over here. What does this guy have to say over here? Oh, sorry, buddy. What do you have to say? I want to take the biggest watermelon and make smoothies. Really good ones and give them to the Shine Sprites. In appreciation for all they do for us, you know? Oh, what a good Samaritan. So why don't we enter in the Watermelon Festival as well? These people over here have some watermelons as well. This guy being the clear winner, so far at least. But I'm sure we can grow, quote unquote, one that's even bigger. So over here, a bunch of quacks. Uh, hmm. Spray this to make some stairs made out of sand. Just to make things a little easier. And once we come up here... There is a watermelon and a whopper at that. So let's go ahead and try to get it to... The watermelon stand, or I guess the smoothie stand. But it's definitely harder than it sounds. Oh boy. Oh my god, no! Get. Stop it! Stop harassing me! I need an adult! Okay, so as I was saying. Yeah, that was weird, okay. Yeah, oh boy, okay. You want to be very... Go away, bees! Not the bees! You want to be very careful. Because if you push a watermelon into a, in the, you know, too far into a wall, it'll break. If it let alone even touches a cataquack, it will break. So what you can do is squirt the catacoax with water 
and then stomp on them to stun them longer than usual. Oh, no, no, no! Get away. Oh, I can only imagine how loud that's going to be in editing. Okay, that actually wasn't so bad. Usually it takes me at least uh, once or twice to get this on the boardwalk, but now that I say that out loud, watch me fail at it somehow. And also, if it let alone even touches water, it will break. Yeah, a watermelon will die if it touches water. And just like that, we're done. Whoa, now that's a big old watermelon like I've never seen. I don't even need to get out the caliber for this one. You win. Tosses it into the debt is a safety hazard if I have ever seen one. Putting the shredder on top of the roof like that. And, let's get our Shine Sprite. And we're standing wet on the blades, too. Number 36. Alright. We have done essentially everything in Gelato Beach and Rico Harbor, as well as Bianco Hills. Except for a couple other things, of course. But we'll get into those in... But we'll get into one of those in the next episode, for sure. I will see you guys next time. He's totally fine.